Jesus. Stephanie! Ah! What the fuck, man? You scared me! I've been looking for you, Alex. You know, I woke up this morning and I looked in my mailbox and I found this. Do you know what this is? Uh, yeah. Those are your uh, holdings in United Pipe. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you not try to sell me this stock for about eight months straight? Yes, yes, that I did. And do you remember that you said to me, Stephanie, we're going to the moon. <clears throat> we're going to Bergdorf Goodman. And all you got to do is buy United Pipe. Yes. Okay, so why did your company sell me a stock that was just going to go belly up? This was my first stock purchase ever, Alex. You're feeling bad. Yes. Yeah. A little betrayed? Yes. Okay, well, let me tell you something, Stephanie. The, the market right now is terrible, and I know how you feel. I know it's not that, that I failed you or, or the brokerage failed you. It's more, it's more the American dream failed you. Am I right? Would you like some champagne? No, I don't want any fucking champagne. That's the stuff that you kept pouring me over and over again so I could buy your stock. And now I've got, like, this financial hangover. All right. When we sold you those shares, we were giving the best market price out there. Okay? Our price to book multiples were solid. What? The EBITDA to the interest ratios. Flush. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay. Stephanie, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh... Forget about the numbers. Let's forget about those numbers, shall we? Let's go back to the beginning. I mean, you're much too, much too smart for hard figures. I'm gonna level with you. Picture this image. 500 thread count con. Hmm? A Range Rover. Yeah. Brand new pair of shoes, a little kitten heel. Huh? Something that makes you feel like a lady in the parlor. And then a whore in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? You like that, right? These are things you want, right? These are things you desire. Huh? Am I right? Can I get an amen on that one? Up high. Come on. High five. Nice. So. Uh, Here we go. No, no, no. Are you trying to sell me another stock? Well. I can't afford a Range Rover. I can't afford any of those things because you cleaned my clock and lost me thousands of dollars, okay? And every time I see nice things in the store, my eyeballs start to hurt with rage. All right, all right. All right, Stephanie, okay. United Online Pipe is a good company, okay? They work really hard at Online Pipe. They are bringing in loads and loads of pipe, day and night, all the way from Canada. Truckloads and truckloads of, of gleaming pipe, okay? It's not their fault that the economy collapsed. It's the short sellers and the hedge funders. They are a good company, and I would swear on my child's mother's life. I'm not stupid. I read about them in USA Today. The CEO just faked his own death. Mm. And the other one, the little guy on TV, he hanged himself with the rig of his yacht. It was a really nice yacht, too. The COO got raped in prison. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> but, you know, Stephanie, you're being a little emotional right now, and you just need to chill out, okay? You just need to, you need to bring it down. You gotta think of me as, uh, as your priest, or your lawyer, or your shrink, um, or your lover. Can I be your lover? No. Oh. You can't be my lover. You can't be any of these things. You told me that I didn't have to be a girl from a poor housing development in Flushing anymore. Do you remember that? You told me that I could buy stocks and delude myself into thinking that I really made it. But now, you made that ambition feel so stupid and dirty. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I don't really care what your lawyer wants. Uh, he really has no right to those papers. Really has no right to anything. I shit on his children. How about that? Okay? And uh, I really don't care if you're recording this. Yeah! Wife's divorcing me. That's really none of my business. Bought her a new Jaguar for her birthday, signed the pink slip, then she handed me divorce papers. In my bed. She had sex with me for the car and then divorced me. What kind of woman does that? A whore does that. Right? But, you know what? I got a new perspective. I was walking around and I was thinking about this, 
this 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 cougar bitch of an ex-wife that's driving around in my stolen Jaguar, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm not in the stock business. I'm in the dream business. I bring you dreams, okay? Some people want yachts. Some people just want their kids back. What do you want? You got four cars, right? Let me get you a fifth. I can't get a fifth car. I don't have any cars. I have bupkis, and that's because of you and this company. What do you have to say about that? Orlando Gold Exchange traded funds. My grandmother, she used to pick coffee beans in El Salvador. They don't look like they're from El Salvador. What are you, racist? We were light-skinned. But that's the point. What is the point is that America is what it is. Hey, you pay to play, okay? Capitalism stuff doesn't work unless you put all your faith into meaningless little pieces of paper. What? You want to go it alone? <laughs> you you want to be a big shot? You want to end up in a cave? God, get out of the cave, Stephanie. Get back in the game, be an owner. Get back into America. Come on, what do you say? I'm not going to take no for an answer here. You're still trying to sell me. And the weird thing is, I almost want to. I feel compelled to. What can I say? I'm, I'm driven. I'm good. So, Orlando Exchange Traded Funds, are you in or are you out? I'm out! I'm reporting you to the SEC! Whoa! Hey, you want to dance? No! Woo! Oh. Okay. Uh... All right, Stephanie, I admit it. I ripped you off. I lost your thousands. Uh, and you can, you know, you can report me. You can run to the uh, Security and Exchange Commission, uh, which frankly would probably be a waste of time because the line would be really long uh, just from all the people from West Palm Beach. But, but before you go there, okay, before you, uh, you report me and send me to jail and betray me just like everybody else, you're still going to be my friend. What? That's all I ask. You know, you can call Tim Geithner. You can call the SEC, you can call Susie Armand, call my shrink. She'll tell you. I, I'm a good person. All I wanted to do was make your dreams come true. I didn't rip you off <laughs> for the money. I ripped you off for the human contact. I really don't like to be alone. Will you be my friend? Can you say you'll be my friend after this, please? Look, look, this is my birthday card from last, mo uh, last year, April. Uh, sign it, please. Just sign. BFF. Thanks. That's, that's, thank you. That's great. It's like a, a social contract. This is, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. It's like we're, you're, we're best friends. So, uh, I'll see you next week. You're my friend, right? Market's going back up. I got your portfolio. It's all set. It's not a problem. Yellow. Yeah,